Republican Congressman Bill Cassidy, uh, Democratic Congressman uh, Frank Colon. Neither one of you guys, I assume, were at the Willie Nelson concert with Becky, uh, were you? Uh, no. no, no, neither. All right, all right, you're working. I know you've got very serious uh, jobs down there. Um, we have been, I mentioned earlier about a relatively small uh, oil and gas company. 75 million would put them out of business. Does this really make, uh, make sense, Congressman Cologne? Well, I think it does. I mean, obviously, we have to deal with the situation that we have. And the problem is when you have these spills, uh, there's so much damage and, and liability that uh, if you don't have the oil companies to take it on, then the government itself would. And I don't think that's fair. I think that the, the oil companies are making money, and they should have the responsibility. But look at, at, at what happened with BP. The, the $75 million it wasn't even an issue. Um, if, if there's clear culpability, they're, they're, they're going to make good on it. Well, I mean, I, I don't think you can always be assured that the oil company is going to do the right thing. I mean, I, I think that the government and the, and the legislation has to guarantee that, not just rely on the oil company's good faith. You look at, you know, in, in hindsight for BP, you, you want to do, but in the environment that we're in, in terms of jobs, you look at the moratorium, you look at all the things we do here today, the GDP, we're worried about that, we're worried about next week's jobs report. Is this, again, is this the time to really be putting a damper on, on business, Congressman? I don't think it does. I think that if you do things properly and you have proper liability for the companies and you make sure that uh, in the long run you have a restoration plan, that that's actually good for business. I, I don't think that we should just assume that the oil companies are not going to have liability or or that uh, they shouldn't be required to do the right thing. I, I, there has to be a certain amount of certainty when you get into this business that you know that you know, you're going to make money, but on the other hand, you're going to have liability if something goes wrong, and it's your fault. What do you think, uh, Congressman Cassidy? If you actually read the original Oil Spill Trust Fund Act, it is very clear that that $75 million cap is very malleable. If there are civil penalties, it doesn't hold. It doesn't hold against state action either. So the original bill, as we've seen, has a lot of ability to adapt to changing circumstances. But, by the way, the Oil Spill Trust Fund is actually funded by industry. It isn't the taxpayer. It's actually um, something that the oil companies pay into. And so, so that's all also the misnomer. Last thing, I'm told that 90% of the Outer Continental Shelf drilling, uh, the leases are held by private companies, uh, small companies, uh, those that would be priced out under uh, legislation such as this. Those 90% of those leases, those independent companies are going away, and the jobs they have will go away. If that is good for business, wow, we have a def different definition of what is good for workers, what is good for business. Congressman, you even said, and, and I don't know, tell me whether this was hyperbole, um, uh, Congressman Cassidy, more injury to the Gulf from this bill than either from the moratorium or even the oil spill itself. That, that sounds, that's a pretty strong statement. Oh, no, but let's, let's look at it. As it turns out, there's a Buy American provision, which doesn't that sound great? We're going to buy American. It is a cynical exploitation of the tragedy and of patriotism to get at something which will ultimately kill jobs. The Buy American says that from henceforth, as of June 2011, every deep water rig has to be built in the United States. As it turns out, we haven't built a deep water rig in the United States since the 1990s. I, I talked to someone in industry. He said it will take two years for the uh, infrastructure to be built and then three years for the first one to roll off. And so five years from now, we'll have those rigs ready. Now, that's going to, in the meantime, kill all the jobs that are dependent upon those rigs. Again, a cynical exploitation of the tragedy, of patriotism, that will cause a net decrease in manufacturing jobs. Well, we, have, we don't have a lot of time, and I'll go back to, the, to Congressman Polona in a second, but we read with great uh, joy, actually, I, I think yesterday, uh, Congressman Cassidy, uh, the day before, that that things don't look as bad as, as the worst-case scenarios. If, if, can you update us on some of the, the most sensitive wetlands? Is it possible that those return to their pristine um, uh, condition um, no. at some point? What was kind of lost in the midst of all this debate was that the Gulf may recover. NOAA, some of the other folks who are experiencing this, says the Gulf has the ability to heal itself. On the other hand, in this oil spill bill, supposedly oil spill bill, it has no money that is truly allocated to clean up the Gulf to repair the damage. Mm. None. 
It's Instead, it takes the money that it, it imposes on new fees and it buys parkland across the United States. This is stick it to the, wor the worker it, it, on the it, Gulf Coast it, for it, elsewhere. It seems punitive. Is it not punitive, Congressman uh, Pallone? I mean, we want... We want everyone to do well. We want jobs. We want the Gulf, in terms of, of the, the jobs in the Gulf, to, to recover as well. Is it, is it, doesn't it seem almost punitive to the oil and gas industry? You did this, so now you're, we're going to do this to you. It just doesn't, you know, the unintended consequences. I, I, I think that this is a direct response to the problems that we had in the Gulf. Obviously, a lot of these wetlands and other areas need to be restored. We need to have a fund that's available, not only for restoration, but for, to protect the ocean, to protect the Gulf. Uh, at the same time, remember, there are a lot of jobs. It's not just the jobs involved in drilling. It's also the jobs, the fishermen, the people involved in tourism, all of whom are, are, are suffering here. So, I mean, I think that the industry has a responsibility to, to step up and pay for this, because if they don't, then the taxpayers are going to pay for it. They're making money. Uh, the industry is making money, and if there's a problem and, and, you know, there's damage to fishermen or to, to resort areas or to anyone else's using the Gulf, I think they should pay for it rather than taxpayers. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Congress, uh, Congressman. Uh, but we've got to end it there. Uh, you guys are...